Welcome. I'm Joel Baker, lead product coach at Ala Mode. This video is intended to give you, as real estate appraisers, a glimpse into the back end of your client's process of submitting reports to the GSE's portal, or UCDP. What does it look like? What kinds of errors might they get? And how do you respond when a request is made for a change? What's an XML file anyway? Let's take a look. First, let's put the portal in its place. The UMDP, or Uniform Mortgage Data Program, has a few moving pieces. The GSEs are moving to standardize not just the appraiser's data, but the entire loan package that your clients and lenders submit to them for purchase on the secondary market. The new standard is a version of MISMO XML. XML is very much like a spreadsheet laid out in a very specific way that allows the GSEs to run special metrics on the raw data for a mortgage loan or set of loans and decide if they're worth purchasing. The ULDD, which is the raw data for the loan itself, uses a version of MISMO XML, version 3.0. The UAD, or Uniform Appraisal Dataset, uses MISMO XML version 2.6 errata 1 with GSE extensions. This is the XML file that your clients submit through the UCD portal. The XML itself isn't just a spreadsheet though. It has a full copy of your PDF embedded within it. Usually when someone opens an XML file, it looks like gobbledygook. The free UAD reader allows your clients to open MISMO XML files and it parses out the raw data into what looks like a copy of the form. Note that the reader allows your clients to see the embedded PDF, the raw data from the XML, the parsed out data in form layout, and lets them run a UAD ENO check on the data, just like the one in total. And they get to do this not just for reports done in WinTotal, but all UAD XML files from any appraisal software. The link for the UAD reader is below. The portal itself is designed and run by a company named Veros. If you or your client cannot submit a MISMO XML file to the portal at the moment, your client can pay Veros to convert your normal first generation PDF into an XML file. But that costs money, is likely to cause more errors than the preferred XML, and this service won't be around forever. To start the process, your client has to have signed up for a login for portal submission to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. It's a long, involved process and isn't something that you as an appraiser can sign up for. If your AMCs are going to submit to the portal on behalf of a lender, they have to go through a sign-up process as well. When they log into the portal and upload an appraisal in XML format, they will get a document file ID immediately, as well as a Submission Status Report, or SSR. If it goes through, the SSR is given a status of Successful. If there are errors or omissions that make the submission fail, the SSR will be termed Not Successful. Keep in mind that an appraisal error might pass the portal today, but not later on, as the GSEs change their requirements in the portal. We'll talk more about those in a minute. Now, let's take a look at what happens when you get a call or an email from a lender or an AMC about an unsuccessful submission to the portal. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you have the details about the error or errors. A lender might send you a copy of the SSR, but the SSR in most cases does not give you any specifics. Ask your client to go back to the portal and send you the findings from the submission, which details the errors. The next step is to find out exactly what kinds of errors you're dealing with. It might be that your client is confused about a hard stop, especially those that are automatically overwritten or ones that they can override themselves. For instance, when the portal is fully opened on December 1, 2011, all UAD errors show as hard stops, but are automatically overridden by the portal. So at first, no UAD errors will cause an SSR to be unsuccessful, even if it was a hard stop. At the same time, if an address is not found by UCDP, for instance, in the case of new construction or rural appraisals, 
The resulting hard stop can be overridden manually by the lender if they know that the address placement is accurate. On the other hand, a handful of hard stop errors cannot be overridden, such as if the PDF is not embedded in the XML file. You're going to want to put our document of hard stops into your browser favorites. The link is below, and we'll keep this list updated as it changes. This document details the types of hard stops, what they mean, whether they'll be overridden automatically, or whether or not the lender can override them manually. We expect that many of your calls will involve some sort of education you'll have to do with your clients. Let's take a look at the current hard stops. For now, a few errors will generate hard stops and warnings, but will automatically be overwritten. For instance, the portal checks the appraiser licenses against the ASC database to make sure that the appraiser has a current valid license. If what's in the XML doesn't match what the ASC has on file for you, your client could get a warning. This won't cause the portal submission to fail just yet, but it gives you advance notice that you need to update your license info in your appraiser contact record, in total or win total, to match what the ASC database has on file for you. Also, any UAD field errors will not cause the submission to fail the portal either, at least at first. They will eventually. Keep in mind that's only UAD field errors. Your client still has to submit the XML and embedded PDFs on the UAD forms where required. Let's take a look at the hard stops that can be overridden. Two are about the address, if the portal can't find the property, or if the unit number is left blank on the condo form. Even for existing properties, there isn't a perfect geocoding database for addresses, so the address not being found is going to be the one that causes most of these manual overrides. The other manual override is if the appraised value is less than $5,000. Items that cannot be overridden are generally not nitpicky items. Usually, it's because the appraisal was submitted in the wrong format or key data points are missing entirely. A reminder here about the PDF conversion service provided by Veros. If your client attempts to have Veros convert a PDF to XML and the conversion fails, it results in a hard stop that your client cannot override. If you run into a question you can't answer, Fannie Mae has set up a phone line for UCDP questions from both you and your clients. 1-800-917-9291.